Yes, this is a truck EDC. Winter is coming. I thought it'd be a good time to show you all what I keep in my truck just in case of emergency so I stay prepared. Okay, the most important... Okay, don't start a sentence with okay. The most important thing to remember when setting up your vehicle to be prepared in case of emergency is to not go and spend a bunch of money. It is not worth it. Don't go buy the best things. You don't need them. You can find, probably in your house, most of the things that you need to keep in your truck or your car your vehicle, whatever it happens to be. Chickens. How we doing? I have three categories of items that I've always kept in my vehicle. Tools, personal comfort, and first aid. So let's go through and see what we've got. First things first, the tools. Tow chain, super important to have a tow chain. This one is sitting in a metal toolbox. I bought this metal toolbox for a buck at a yard sale. Then I've got duct tape and ratchet straps. Super important. I've also got some bungee cords which come in handy. Often they are on the outside so they don't get caught up and hung up on all the ratchet straps. And then I've got some little rope here that I keep just in case and then another piece of uh, cheap sort of Home Depot rope a friend gave me. So the ratchet straps, the bungee cords, and that rope is enough for me to be able to tie anything I could possibly need to in my pickup truck. The tow chain I've used in the winter and the summer to pull vehicles out of ditches. In the toolbox, I've got a hammer, screwdrivers, pliers, zip ties. Zip ties super handy for keeping in your vehicle in case you're, I have actually zip tied my exhaust back onto the vehicle uh, until I can get it fixed permanently. And bow saw. I always keep some kind of saw or ax or a chainsaw in the truck at all times. I have been stuck out of my house because there were trees down on every road home. So on windy days, I will always throw a chainsaw in the truck just to have it with me, just in case. But regardless of the day, I always have at least a bow saw, if not that, and an ax in these toolboxes. I also keep in the winter a snow shovel. Somebody gave me, it's pretty small. Um, I've never used it, but it's so light and it just sits in one of the toolboxes out of the way. Every now and again, I end up at somebody's house and they ask for a hand with something. So it's just useful to have a hammer, pliers, screwdrivers, that kind of stuff with you just in case. How many times have I said just in case? Drinking game for this video, drink every time I say just in case. Let's move on to personal comfort. Sleeping bag. Always, always keep a sleeping bag in the vehicle, especially in the winter. This is a down sleeping bag. You don't need to go buy a new sleeping bag. Just go grab the old crappy one that you have sitting at the bottom of your closet. Throw it in your vehicle. It'll be useful, I promise. Um, I've used it even when I've had little kids and they've just been cold in the winter and we're on a road trip, I've pulled it out for that. I have actually slept in the back seat of this truck in the winter with this sleeping bag and been pretty cozy. A blanket. Again, don't go out and buy a brand new blanket. That's an old one I've had forever. It's useful for picnics. It's useful for when you're moving furniture and you want to protect the furniture so it doesn't get scratched up. It's... Oh, oh trouble. <laughs> Continuing on, I keep a backpack. It doesn't matter what kind of backpack you keep in here. I recommend keeping stuff in a backpack, either under a seat or in your trunk. Don't go buy a new backpack. Just go grab your old school bag that's sitting in the basement, it doesn't matter. If it's really dirty, just throw it in the wash. Hose it off. Don't spend money. You don't need to. So this is an old hiking backpack of mine. Inside here, I keep a nice, thick fleece. It's always good to have an extra jacket with you in your car, just in case. You never can tell when somebody's borrowing your jacket, you might forget your jacket, the weather changes and you're really cold. You want an extra layer with you at all times. Now that it's cold outside, I always keep a winter hat with me. Uh, Hunter Orange is great this time of year. If you break down, if it just the weather turns, you get cold, you want some extra clothing. Winter gloves. These are army surplus gloves I got a while back. Um, just a spare set of gloves, again, in case it gets really cold. Work gloves. These will not keep you very warm, but are super handy when you're moving furniture around, uh, whatever you happen to need. To have a pair of work gloves is great. 
rain jacket. This is my old hiking rain jacket. It's mostly waterproof. It's waterproof enough for my spare jacket in the car that I'll probably never use. Again, don't go buy a brand new rain jacket to stick in here. Go find an old one you've got laying around. Go to a yard sale. That's everything in the backpack. And I have a backpack. So if I do drive along somewhere and I decide I wanna go for a hike, I've already got a backpack to just throw stuff into. And finally, first aid. My first aid is in three separate pieces. This is the first piece. It's just a kit I bought at a Walmart a while back. I've added a few things to it that I think are important. Emergency blanket, good to have, again, just in case. Sanitary napkins, keep a couple in your first aid kit, especially if you have ladies in your life, and they're really great to use with a wound if you've run out of gauze. Coban and medical tape, both super handy. Alcohol swabs and some antibacterial cream. Instant cold ice pack. Some thicker gauze pads and some quick clot powder. This is powder that'll help stop bleeding. I bought it at Walmart, it was super cheap there. I found it in the camping section, not the first aid section. Band-aids and tweezers, especially with ticks, you wanna carry a pair of tweezers. The second part of my first aid kit, I designed with the help of a friend of mine who's a nurse. It's really set up for chainsaw work, but I keep it in the truck at all times. This is an M4 double magazine pouch. I bought it surplus on eBay. I bought two of them for, I think it was like $5 and then $3 shipping. So I have $8 into two of these cases. I put a little carabiner on the top here so I can just pull this right up. Inside here is two different things. I've got a pair of trauma shears and then a Ziploc bag that I'm not going to open up all the way. I've got tape here with a tab so I can rip it open. And in here is more, is another, a couple gauze pads, another package of quick clot, some medical tape, and a cat tourniquet. My plan is, what I do now is always wear this on my chainsaw chaps whenever I'm running the chainsaw. So if for some reason I accidentally cut myself with the chainsaw, and I need to tourniquet myself, I can do that. It's all set up and ready to go. And in case of any major medical emergency that I come upon on the road, I'm also prepared to apply a tourniquet if I need to. That's the first aid component. There's no medications in there. I actually keep the medications in the console of the truck. I've got ibuprofen, Benadryl, and that's it. Uh, I have found, particularly with the ibuprofen, it's much more handy to have the medicine up front where I can get it if I'm driving or I can ask the uh, passenger to hand it to me. Uh, of course, the Benadryl you wouldn't want to take um, when you're driving, ideally, because that's not very good. What else do I keep with me? All right, the last few things I keep in the vehicle. God, that's bright. Is it any less bright if I go way up? This is a glass punch. It's zip tied to the turn signal so that it won't go anywhere and I've always got access to it. Always keep a pair of sunglasses in the truck. Always keep a flashlight in the truck. Always keep a spare jackknife in the truck. These all stay in the front along with that and the medications. Every now and again, I have forgotten my jackknife, which I pretty much always keep in my pocket. And I've been really happy to know that I've got an extra one in the vehicle. So that is everything in my truck, my truck EDC, as it were. What, would, what do you keep in your vehicle? What am I missing? What should I have in here that I don't have in here? Let me know. I want to make sure that I'm prepared in case of emergency. I want to make sure all of you are prepared in case of emergency. You don't want to be stuck in a downpour without a rain jacket. You don't want to be stuck in the middle of a blizzard on the side of the road without a hat and gloves. And if you have a headache, you just want to be able to take an ibuprofen. So go ahead, gather what you need, throw that stuff in your vehicle, and just keep it with you, just in case, so that you can build your vehicle EDC. Thanks so much for hanging out here on Four Acres. Thank you for watching. Remember, do the best you can with what you got, and we'll see you around. Take care. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. <laughs> hey, hey. Not a word. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Let's do it. <laughs> Dog allowed to be on there with muddy paws. Oh, get off. Get off. Bunker, that's not okay. Go get a drink. <laughs>